Let's go ahead now and open our new CareStream CS3800 and see everything that's included with the intraoral scanner. I definitely want to make sure that I take everything out of the box carefully because I always like to save the boxes that my intraoral scanners come in so that I can always place them in for storage or it's also perfect to use if you have a mobile office. So when we first open the CS3800, we're gonna see all of the user manuals and warranty information. I recommend just storing these in the box in a safe storage place so that you have them for future reference. And we can see here everything that comes with our CS3800 scanner. Let's go ahead and take a look and begin assembling this. Let's start by removing the wand for our scanner. We can see here the wand comes and it has a protective covering where the intraoral scanning tip goes and it has a protective covering where the batteries go. We definitely want to save these in case you ever do need to disassemble your scanner. So, Let's go ahead and take a look next. We have the cradle or the charging station that comes with our scanner. This can be used placing the wand in the vertical position to charge, or if we're in the process of scanning, we can place it in the horizontal position to hold the scanner if we need a break between scanning our arches, perhaps to dry the teeth or do some soft tissue retraction. So, Let's go ahead and start assembling. I'm going to begin by placing the intraoral scanning tip. So I'm going to take the protective covering off and place this back in the box for safekeeping. We can see here that we receive two intraoral scanning tips. One of these is our traditional scanning tip that will mount for occlusal and buccolingual scanning. There is also a side view tip that you can use to reach the posterior or taking the bite scan in those patients that have very tight cheeks and where it's difficult to retract the soft tissue to scan in the posterior. Let's begin today by using our traditional intraoral scanning tip. We're gonna simply click that on the end. You heard an audible click so that you know that it's all the way engaged and we can see how easily it fits on and can be removed for sterilization. I'm then gonna take the protective covering off the back of the intraoral scanner, and I'm going to use one of the batteries. We can see here that there are two batteries that are included, and this is very helpful. That way you can always have one that you're using in the intraoral scanner, and you can have one that is fully charged. There is an accessory charging device that you can order for scanning more and charging more batteries. And if you need to have quite a few batteries for a larger clinic on hand. However, in my office, we'll be beginning with the two that are included. I'm gonna take the battery and I'm simply gonna place it in the end of the intraoral scanner until I hear it click. And there our wand is quickly and easily assembled. When we have the cradle, we can begin by seeing that there is a little diode connection here, and there is also one in the bottom of the cradle. When we have the cradle attached to our power source, we're going to place the scanner in the vertical position, and this is going to begin charging the batteries and keeping our intraoral scanner charged. If we want that break in between patients with scanning, we can always lay the wand in the horizontal position and utilize it as a holder so that you're not setting it on a bracket table. As we continue to look at some of the other goodies that are included with the scanner, we see here what looks like an attachment for the battery. This is a battery attachment with a power cord that we can always utilize if somebody in the office has forgotten to recharge the batteries. So this enables us to never be without our intraoral scanner, even if the battery has not been charged. This is simply plugged in to the side of the cradle. 
and then it is put in in place instead of the battery. And then your wireless scanner just became a wired scanner in those instances where you don't have a charged battery. However, in my office, we will simply store the wand in the vertical position to avoid this from happening. We can easily detach this and replace our battery. As we continue with our unboxing, we are going to see that there is a calibration tip for the color calibration. This is going to be utilized by placing the tip into the calibration and then you'll run through the calibration steps. This will be reviewed with you during training. We then have some of our power cords and adapters that will be utilized to connect the scanner to the laptop. And in this small box for the doctors that are overseas that are utilizing a different power source, there are quite a few power adapters and the main power cord. So I'm ready to begin assembling my scanner and connecting it to the laptop and get the batteries charging so I can use this with my first patient. I'm gonna bring a small cart over that I have because I like to keep everything nice and mobile in my offices. And we're gonna assemble the new scanner on our cart. Let's go ahead and begin the assembly process.